All right, so either you've cleaned out the fuel tank or you've run out of fuel by accident or for some other reason there's no fuel in the system and you've just had to refill it. All right, this is how a Mercedes diesel OM617 and OM616 from the W123 series works. Okay, so you've got the outlet from the tank that comes here. So this is where your fuel source is from from the tank. Comes out, goes through a little filter Mine is slightly larger than normal. I'm not using the stock Mercedes one because I need to, to replace it. But anyways, you have a sacrificial filter here which protects the lift pump. The lift pump is this mechanism here. What it does is it pulls fuel all the way from the tank up to the engine bay. Now, so the fuel will come through here, go through our first filter, the white one. It goes down into the right hand side of the lift pump then it comes out of the left side of the lift pump follows this line here goes out and goes into the inside of the main fuel filter which is this red canister here this might be black it might be blue it might be silver on yours they come in all different colors and then it goes out of the outlet here and then as you can see there's a line going down it's this one here and it goes into the injection pump the injection pump takes what fuel it needs puts it through the hard lines and then up into the injectors here any excess that doesn't go uh, into the injectors comes out of all these lines that are looped in between all the injectors comes out goes in here into this joiner and then goes into the fuel return line which goes back to the fuel tank now any excess that the fuel in pump the fuel injection pump itself doesn't use comes out of the rear of that bolt there of this line that i'm touching now and it comes up goes into this t-piece here flows out and goes into the fuel return it goes back to the tank ready to be used again all right so you've run out of fuel and you need to prime the system and there's no fuel in it at all. You need to bring it up from the fuel tank. What you need to do is go here and this will be either a silver metal one, a white one or a black one. They're the three most common. If it's the black one, black one you may just have to press it and it pumps or if it's the white or the silver one you have to turn it anti-clockwise to unlock it. So once you've done that, you twisted it up and then you can lift and pump. So you can see the air bubbles moving about. See the air bubbles go further and further through the system as we're pulling fuel up from the tank and putting it all through. You may have to do this a hundred or so times, but as you can see, it doesn't take too long. The key, if you have a good amount of light, is to watch this yellow translucent line here for a good amount of fuel coming through. That means the injection pump has enough fuel and excess is going back to the fuel tank. So remember, this line here is excess from the injection pump and returns to the tank. So when this has got enough good amount of fuel flowing through it, means the injection pump has enough there. However, there might be a whole big lot of air bubbles in your lines if you've run dry. So instead of wasting your battery, what we'll do is crack these open just the tiniest little bit. So a quarter turn, one. Now I'll just switch hands for a moment. I find the two end ones eat most easy to access. There we go, just loosen that up. Just just a little bit and then we'll go number three and then looks like I can get the cylinder number two as well there we go so not much just about a, a quarter turn you just need to crack them and then so and so you've pumped this a hundred or so times and you've got a good amount of fuel throwing through. You need to tighten it back up, 
Don't worry about that air bubble, that's all right. There's enough actual fuel in the system to start the engine. So tighten that up pretty nice. You don't, doesn't have to be deathly grip or anything. So you don't put a tool on it. You just do it up with your finger tight. So you've pumped that. There's enough fuel going through the return of that little yellowy one. Uh, you've cracked at least two of these. You can, I recommend three or four, but it is possible to do it with just two loosened. Now we go into the car. We make sure it is in neutral. Handbrake is on. We do our glow plugs, wait for it to go out. We give it a fair bit of fuel. And one, two, three, four, five. As you can see, the engine's starting up. Not sure if you can really tell because of the rain that's been happening. So yeah, what we're looking for See the fuel spitting up out of these? That's exactly what we're looking for. So now what you can do is just tighten them up as you're half running. Where did I put that spanner? There we go. So when you tighten them up, you'll hear the engine go a little better. There we go. Now, if you if you don't see that, or it's hard to tell, or you don't get the engines and started enough, so you can walk out with it still on. What you do? Oops, let me just stop that for a moment. Uh, so, if the engine hasn't properly started but it seems to want to because you've undone three or four of these or it won't start at all because you've undone five or four of them you count five mississippis as you're cranking the engine over with these undone and then you come back out and you look for wet spots there there at the top of each injector on these if it is wet great tighten them up all of them and then go start the engine and you're done it should be idling and get on your way all right i hope that's been helpful guys and uh yeah i'll see you with the next video i make cheers